years. And do you think you could stop it? He said, Mr. Trump, I'd be able to stop it in one week. And I believed him 100%. How? Did he tell you how he would be able to stop no, it? No, he in just one week? he wants to use tough. He wants to use tough police tactics. Which but you is have to okay have a warrant to people arrest being people. Killed. You can't beat them up. You have to have a warrant to arrest them. You have to have. All I know is this: I went to a top police officer in Chicago, who is not the police chief, and he. I could see by the way he was dealing with his people. He was a rough, tough guy. They respected him greatly. I said, how do you think you do it? He said, Mr. Trump, within one week, we could stop much of this. But he didn't tell you exactly, precisely how. Because that's no, and I didn't ask him because I'm not the mayor of Chicago. But I tell you what, I sent his name in and I said, you probably should hire this guy because you have, you know, the expression, you have nothing to lose. Look at what's going on in Chicago. It's horrible. This guy felt totally confident that he could stop it in a very short period of time. So. It's nationwide. a little bit like we could win the war a lot quicker if we'd let our generals do the job properly. This was a man. But you, but you who have to have a strategy, though. What I'm trying to get is you have yeah, to have well, a strategy. I'm sure he's got a strategy. Okay, but you're, you're going to be. Just saw, if you're president, you're going to have to have your strategy. So let's just take a very oh, have, micro oh, okay. issue: attacks on police. All right. So they're rising because uh, they're being um, they're, police officers in some places are being demonized. And now uh, unstable people, and people are, saying, are being coddled. Okay, people All right. are being coddled. so. You're president. How are you going to stop attacks on police in the present climate? Well, first of all, we need somebody that's going to be a cheerleader for the police to an extent. Right now, I just left the Akron police and some other people, and they are terrific people, and they feel like they're being left behind by our leadership. They're not being respected by our leadership, and they literally, they, they don't have spirit. They lose their spirit. Every time something happens, it's All right, the so police's so fault. Look, your tone is pro-police. You have to have... Well, you how, have do you, to how do you stop the bad guys spirit. from attacking them? By giving them back your spirit and by allowing them to go and counterattack. I mean, it's ridiculous what's happening. They're not respecting the police anymore, and the police are afraid to do anything. I've spoken to so many police. I mean, I've gotten to know them. I have endorsements from, like, almost everybody in terms of police and law enforcement. And I've spoken to so many, and they're afraid to do anything because they don't want to lose their job. They don't even want to talk to people anymore because they're afraid that something will happen. That'll be the end of their job, their pension, their family, the whole thing. They're petrified to act. Are you going to make governors like Cuomo in your state of New York, are you going to change their minds about their liberal policies that do, and Mayor de Blasio in the city in which you live, that, you know, he almost encourages bad behavior toward police, that mayor. How are you ever going to change a Governor Cuomo or a Mayor de Blasio? Well, first of all, de Blasio has been a terrible mayor. The police have no respect for him whatsoever. They dislike him tremendously. And in fact, for a period of time, a long period of time, and they'd like to do it again, they turn their back whenever he speaks. I mean, they literally turn a but whole But how are you going to change him and change speaks. policy? They're going to have to change themselves. All I can do is from the top, I would be very, very strong in terms of being a cheerleader for the police. They do a great job and they're not recognized for it. And when they do have a problem, when something happens, whether it's a road cop, which can happen, or whether somebody makes a mistake, it's on your show and every show for the next two weeks. It's very unfair. And I, I was saying the other day, they can do 200,000 great acts, 200,000, and one bad one, whether it's, again, bad or whether it's a mistake, sure. who knows. And it's on the it's on the evening news for two weeks. That's they an don't excellent talk about point. The two hundred thousand good things. The media has been derelict. And maybe in that we as well. have to let maybe we have to let people know the good aspects of the police, okay. which nobody wants to cover. Now we're going to have uh, more with Mr. Trump in a moment. We're going to talk about his campaign and how it stands now. Then later, Miller on the African American vote and Waters causing his usual trouble. Those reports after these messages. 